Ahoy hoy, I'm Planner Walk, and today I want to talk about TikTok because TikTok is the one place where you could start a challenge called the Tie Your Shoelace Challenge, and you would get thousands upon thousands of videos all failing to tie their shoelaces and then claiming that it is impossible. Actually, maybe I could start that trend. Unfortunately, I feel like people wouldn't realize that it's a joke though. Anyway, when I've seen people talk about TikTok, they tend to focus on a few things, and one of them I agree with. There's a lot of cringe on there. That is absolutely true. That is why it should be deleted. People are also worried about it being owned by a Chinese company, but I feel like a large portion of that is because TikTok is gaining a certain amount of traction, and that would absolutely be seen as a threat by a lot of US-based social media companies like YouTube and Facebook. However, I am not concerned about China accessing data that's on TikTok. I am concerned about aliens accessing data on TikTok. Can you imagine aliens want to know more about humanity so they open up TikTok and the first thing that they see is someone with a piece of paper and an object and they put them up against the mirror and they ask, how does the mirror know that this object is here when the piece of paper is hiding it? Not only would the human race be ended within six hours, there would be no evidence left that the solar system even existed here in the first place. Now we will get to that trend that popped up for some reason, but you would be mistaken if you thought that that was the only stupid trend that has come up. You see, a while back I decided to scroll through TikTok and for some reason on this particular day, I hadn't used TikTok in ages, TikTok decided to show me the exact opposite of the, all the things I was interested in. One of the common types of videos was people seeing how fast they could tap their phones in 20 seconds. That got boring five seconds into the first video that I watched and TikTok decided that five seconds of me watching that video must mean that I want to watch every video like that on the site. But another type of video that it just absolutely decided that I had to watch for some reason was people being very, very stupid. Now, you have to understand that whilst I do look at a lot of very, very stupid things for my YouTube channel, I don't like to do that in my free time. I unfollowed Elon Musk on Twitter for a reason, okay? Anyway, the type of video that I mostly got was one that went like this. They said it's impossible to put six X's in TikTok toe without getting three X's in a row. That was the entire video, by the way. And all the videos that I've seen doing that challenge are exactly the same. They all fail to do an easy task that even a toddler could figure out. By the way, in case you're wondering what the answer to the problem is, I figured this out in like 10 seconds. But my question is, why are those videos being recommended so heavily by TikTok. Like, who's watching that? Do people watch that because they feel smarter in comparison? I mean, if you want to do that, you can always just listen to a flat earther talk for five minutes. You'll realize that you're not the dumbest person alive. And to top it off, a lot of these people, they will know the answer. They're just doing what they think will get them more views. And unfortunately, it seems to be working. It is very reminiscent of the flat earthers who know that the earth is not flat, people like Nathan Oakley, but they still push it because they want more views. Anyway, let's take a look at another one. This next one was sent to me by my sister because my TikTok magically started working again. Try this at home. Get up, see how easy that was? All right, let's start. Get down the same knee. Bring your left arm to your right shoulder, right arm to your left shoulder. Breathe five times. Bring both arms out, put them down, try to get back up. You know, you can always do another take. You know, I'm not sure if people on TikTok have realized this, but there is a such thing as doing another take. You know, you're not bound to the first take that you do. Although maybe there was multiple takes done there, in which case, um... Let's just say that you probably shouldn't pursue a career in acting. I say this because it just looks 
really acted. And this is what I was talking about earlier, where there's no way that these people are genuine in what they're doing. They have to know that what they're doing is just for clicks because people click on that kind of stuff. Although in the case of TikTok, it's not so much clicks, it's more engagement. So as much as I'd like to say with everyone, oh, just look at these silly people, a lot of these people, they have to know what they're doing. They're just following a trend because it's what's going to make them popular and they'll get their 15 minutes of fame. Unfortunately, when it comes to the internet, the lowest quality content tends to get the higher number of views. I've seen this with my channel. The more effort I put into a video, the less views it gets. Anyway, let's look at the trend that everyone is talking about and the aliens would certainly nuke us if they found out about. I need you to explain this real quick. Wait a second. Okay, see, I'm holding this behind a piece of paper, correct? How does the mirror know <laughs> that there is a crystal on the other side of this paper? So yeah, that's a thing that a lot of people have been doing recently. And there is more. Take a look. Anyone explain how does the mirror know that there's an object there? Look at this. Oh my god. How does the mirror know no. that that's there? <laughs> that's creepy. Alright, this is the freakiest thing I have ever seen. Should you be able to see the charger on the other side in the mirror? I thought it was a gag when I saw it. Guess what? It's no gag. Check that out. How is that possible? What if mirrors are not what we think they are? I saw this on TikTok, so I want to try this and look. How does the mirror know what's behind here? It shouldn't know, right? But when you look, there it is. In the mirror world. What if mirrors aren't what we think they are? Try this at home. It works. So, I would like to believe that some of them are just doing this because it's going to get them more attention. But some of those people definitely don't know how that works. For some reason, this has just been a huge trend recently, and I feel like these people, if they were ever introduced to Flat Earth, would just instantly become a Flat Earther. Now, I probably do not need to explain this, but I am going to anyway. If you can draw a line from something to a mirror, and nothing is in the way of that line, then at the right angle, you should be able to see that object in the mirror. Now, that object may appear like it's on the other side of something in the mirror, so how would the mirror know it's there? The light has simply bounced off a point in the mirror that you can draw a line from, from that point in the mirror to the object. The object isn't actually in the mirror or anything, it just looks like it is. And if you want a diagram, this is a diagram that I've seen many people post, which I think explains it. So yeah, no magic or demons or mirror dimension or mirror world or whatever. None of that is needed. Just physics. So yeah, is it too much to ask that people just not post silly things? You know, think before they actually post something to TikTok? I don't really want to die because beings much smarter than us decided that the human race is too stupid to exist. Unfortunately though, people are going to continue to be stupid, whether they're doing it on purpose or they're doing it because they're genuinely stupid. When people see this kind of stupidity, especially when it comes to flat earthers, they like to claim that, oh, they're not actually that stupid, they're just pretending. And whilst that is true for some people, I don't think that it's true for everyone. I have actually spoken to flat earthers. Several of them are genuine in what they believe, and this makes it difficult to determine whether someone is being stupid for clout, or whether someone is just genuinely stupid, because there are people that can be that genuinely stupid. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. We are probably doomed, but you know, what can you do? Leave a like and subscribe if you like this video. Leave a comment letting me know what you think of this video. As always, a big shout out to my $20 or more patrons. Hugh Jars, MC Nutkin, Nathaniel Muller, Vermont 1777, Wolfie Mori, Grey Ghost, Kid Vicious, Sarge Campbell, definitely not NASA, Craig D'Amelio, and Richard M. Chapman. If you want to support me financially, you can do so on Patreon. There should be a link there. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Between you and me, thank you for watching. Okay, apparently the make sure my microphone is actually turned on before recording challenge is something that I completely failed at.